Hello friends, this is Ayash and welcome to my channel Master of UI Path. In this video, I am going to show you a real life use case of uh, RPM that is uh, a robot class teacher. As we all know, uh, during this pandemic COVID-19, we are students are unable to attend uh, school and teachers are forced to take classes online. So here in this video, I am going to show you a robot class teacher project where the robot sends study material to each and every student uh, depending on their class and the lesson number so to begin with let us first see what the robot is actually supposed to do inside the data folder we can see there are two folder class 1 and class 2 so inside class 1 there is lessons lessons completed and students now if we check inside the student folder a student file we have Amar Bhaskar two students their corresponding role ID role number and email ID lessons folder has the corresponding lessons we can see one and two inside one we have the corresponding topics and questions for lesson number one once the robot completes sending lesson number one to students it is supposed to move to lessons completed folder pick for lesson one let us see the lessons completed folder it is empty empty now now let's check class two and here also lesson number one and two here lessons completed is again empty this is supposed to get filled once the lessons are completed for example if lesson number one is completed today it should go to lessons completed folder here also class number two we have two students again Prasad and Kumar once the students receive the topics and the questions sent by the robot they are supposed to go through the topics and fill the answers for the questions mentioned students have to answer the questions in the mentioned in the word document and then convert it into pdf and email the same to the teacher in which they have uh, received the mail so what happens here is when the uh, robot is supposed to send the topics for the next day uh, it will search for the answers from the students for the previous test it has sent to the students so uh, the robot will come to know if the student has answered or not or if they have uh, replied to the mail or not and it will intimate the teacher accordingly also it will evaluate the result of the students evaluate the test of the students and uh, tell the results to them on the next day suppose it uh, suppose it is sending the first lesson today uh, it is not going to uh, evaluate anything as it is a first day and lesson number one so when it sends the lesson number two uh, it first checks if they have replied for the lesson number one and also if there is any reply from the students it is going to evaluate the answers and then uh, tell them the results as well and also uh, it will uh, send the topics for the day number two that is lesson two if the students have not replied uh, the answers then uh, one mail is sent to the class teacher uh, telling that uh, these students have not submitted the test also uh, the same mail is uh, sent to the students as well the student email id will be in cc and also uh, one text document is sent to the teacher with the uh, students name who are uh, who has not submitted the test so before beginning the demo uh, let us check as you can see I have uh, opened the four email IDs of the students and also the email ID from which I am going to send the topics okay let me open UI path and I'm going to start the demo now
the robot has started running and it is displaying a message box total number of uh, classes is 2 clicking ok now it is entering class 1 ok checking to today's lesson number it has got lesson 1 okay. as today is a first day there is no test to be evaluated sending lesson number 1 sending today's topic to Amar that is the first student topic successfully sent to Amar now we are sending the topics to Baskar that is second student in class number one Topic successfully sent to Baskar. Okay. Lesson sent to all students. Now sending the status to class teacher for class 1. Okay. Send status mail to teacher for class 1. Now entering class number 2. checking today's lesson number again today's lesson number is 1 as today is first day there is no test to be evaluated sending lesson number 1 today's sending today's topic to Prasad that is first student in class number 2 Topics successfully sent to Prasad. Now sending topics to Kumar. Topics successfully sent to Kumar. Now this is a lesson sent to all students. Sending status mail to teacher. <coughs> Send status mail to teacher for class 2. The robot has come out. Now let's check the email IDs of each and every student. This is student number 1 from class 1. So we can see the subject class 1 and lesson number 1. Also we can see the attachments received. This is student number 2 class number 1 and lesson number 1 that is the subject again two attachments topics and the question paper question this is class number 2 and lesson number 1 the previous one was class number 1 lesson number 1 you can see that class 2 lesson number 1 and the fourth one again class number 2 lesson number 1 now let me do one thing i will uh, reply to the uh, same email uh, from one of the student okay i will reply from um, the first student from class number one okay what i have to do is uh, i have to reply the answer in a pdf format let me check i have uh, kept it ready Here I am simply going to attach the PDF file and reply to the same email in which I have re uh, received the questions and topics. Now I have uh, sent the file. Now I am going to start the robot. It has started running. Total number of classes is 2. Okay. Entering class number 1. Checking today's lesson number. 
that is lesson number is 2 and it is checking if students have submitted the test Amar has submitted the test that is the first student has submitted the test so it is telling it is going to evaluate the test this is an answer submitted by Amar that is the first student number one and number two the robots is checking if the answers are correct or not it is displaying a message uh, evaluation is completed and Amar has scored two out of two and it is sending today's topics and test result topic successfully sent to Amar now it is telling Bhaskar has not submitted the test a mail will be sent to the teacher Topic successfully sent to Bhaskar. Lesson sent to all students. Now sending status teach status mail to class teacher for class one class one. Status mail is sent to teacher. Now it is entering class number two. Checking for checking for lesson number and lesson number is 2 checking if students have submitted the test again Prasad has not submitted the test a mail will be sent to the teacher now submitting today's topics to Prasad that is the first student in class number 2 Topic sent to Prasad. Kumar has not submitted the test. Now sending the topics to Kumar. That is lesson number two. Topic successfully sent to Kumar. Lesson sent to all students. Now standing status to class teacher for class number two. Send status mail to teacher for class number 2. The robot has uh, finished his job. Now let us check for uh, student number 1 in uh, class 1. That is Amar. Let's see. We can see that uh, a new mail has come. Class number 1 and lesson number 2. Now let's check inside. You can see the there it is mentioned the result of your previous test is 2 by 2. That is 2 out of 2. The second student, this is previous one. Let us refresh. Here we have received two mails. One is from class teacher, one is from master robot. Class teacher has sent uh, topics for lesson number two. Master robot. Okay, we'll come to that later. Here it is telling you have not submitted the previous test. It has sent uh, lesson number two. Master robot, what it is saying? It is telling below students have not submitted the test. That is, it is sending to the teacher as well as the students who have not submitted the test also one text file is attached here it is telling Bhaskar name of the student who has not submitted the test let us check for class number two let me refresh here also the mail received is class two lesson two here also it is saying you have not submitted the previous test. 
what let us see what the master robot is telling it has sent a text file that is prasad and kumar both have not submitted the test that is sent to the teacher as well as the students in that class it is sending a list of students to the class teacher from that class who has not submitted the test even kumar has not submitted the test so it is telling again prasad and kumar has not submitted the test this is the actual uh, mail received by the class teacher that is uh, the text file lazy students status for class 2 and lesson number 1 below students have not submitted the test here it is a text file which is having prasad and kumar and one more is from class number 1 it should have baskar correct so only amar has submitted the test so now let's check in the back end if uh, the lessons 1 and 2 has uh, moved to the lessons completed folder yes we can see uh, lesson 1 and 2 are under lessons completed folder lessons completed 1 and 2 and inside lesson nothing is there so all the lessons are done so that's it in this video um, if you have any doubts or queries you can uh, always uh, uh, comment in the comment section below uh, also uh, keep supporting do subscribe for more such videos thank you